again. As you can see, I have changed my outfit and my horse. Um, the Valentine stuff hasn't come out just yet. Uh, so I switched to kind of red and pink that I already have. See how it goes. For now. And then maybe when they give us those 200 star coins with the redeem code, I can pick out something um, new to get. Maybe new horse gear, which I would really like. I was also wondering if um, they did anything for birthdays. I think that would be fun if you put in your birthday into your account and they were able to send you star coins on your birthday. And I'm only thinking of this because my birthday is February 12th. <laughs> tomorrow. Well, tomorrow when I'm recording this. I don't know when I will show this. But I was like, hmm, I wonder if they do anything for your birthday or send you a fun t-shirt or something. That would be pretty cool. Then I realized I don't think they know my birthday, so probably not. And I'm back on Danger Nova, and I have to say it feels wonderful. I know a few people were saying I should still get another horse, but what it comes down—why did that happen? What it comes down to is the star coins, and I just don't think I'm gonna have enough if. I get another horse now to get the horses that I want in the future. Whoa, hey, nice horse. Looks like mine. Man, it feels good to be on Danger Nova. What am I doing here? I thought there was a quest. Oh, in the winery. The winery. I'm not a fan of the winery. I'm told it gets more interesting, but it hasn't yet. How am I doing? Oh wow, my riding is 14 with this outfit. Wow. That's pretty cool. So what's the yellow? Hold on a minute. Khan. Who's Khan? No, no. I don't want to spend the night. I want to find Khan. Khan is a horse. Got it. Hello. Con. That's a sheep. What is wrong with me? This horse. That horse. Looks familiar. Haven't you seen it somewhere else lately? It looks very distinctive with that glistening black coat. And the way its eyes stare right through you. You get a chill down your spine. Wait! That mysterious gleam. It's the same mysterious gleam that struck you when, you disgui when that disguised rider came by Moreland. Oh, I totally forgot about that guy. And stole Thomas's ownership deed. You need to ask someone who owns that horse. He does look mean a little bit. Ask Tanya. Hello, Tanya? Who's Tanya? Donde esta Tanya? Looks like she might be around back. Oh, there she is. Hello, Tanya. Welcome to the winery. Thanks. Thanks, sister. His owner is a girl called Sabine. She's standing over there. She's rather new here. I think she came about a week ago. I remember that Linda show. Isn't Linda missing? Oh, the intrigue. Oh, if she was out riding last night at Moreland. Oh, God, last night. I have no idea. Ask her yourself. Doesn't it seem a bit odd, though, to be out riding in the middle of the night? Yes. That's why I'm asking. What's up, Sabine? Oh, God, look at her. She looks mean. She's all scowling. Look at those fancy Cruella de Vil eyebrows. I certainly haven't been out riding in the middle of the night. Who are you, by the way, to come here with your stupid inquisitions? Excuse me? What are you implying here exactly? That I was at Moreland? 
what would I be doing in that circus sideshow when there's a perfectly functional riding track here? It's not, though. It hasn't been cleared off. It's covered in construction equipment. You know what? You need to learn how to behave around other people. That's for sure. You act like you're five years old or something. Please, spare me that obnoxious baby talk. And now you're going to ask me about the riding track, too? Oh my god, you're unbelievable. Just leave me alone, will you? If you feel a desperate need to bother someone, go to the stable girls. I'm sure they're dying to hear what you have to say. Oh my god. Let's stomp on her. Let's run her over. Doop, doop. <laughs> That made me feel a little bit better. <laughs> hey, nice horse. I like that horse. The riding track? You didn't know about that? It's right over there. You can try it out. They're keeping secrets from me. Over where? Oops. Go toward the gold. Hello, Pauline. Hasmo. Hasmo. I'm gonna start greeting people like that from now on. Hasmo. I'm Pauline, by the way. Try out the riding track. I will. I can't believe it took them this long to show it to me. I mean, I guess I have been bouncing around a bit, but whatevs. Let's do this. Riding, riding, riding the track. Ah! I wasn't sure if I should jump that. Oh no! Oh no, we're gonna have to do- Come on, come on. Sometimes my scrolly wheel does not work properly. I get into my real serious serious face. I decided that when I do do Sims Let's Plays, I'm not going to have the camera on, otherwise you're just going to see my serious simming face the whole time. And that would be boring. Oh my god! I can't wait to do this again. Ugh, go! go. <laughs> Races are so stressful. Ugh. Man, Rockbeam didn't have this many problems jumping. I need some jumping clothes. I think I have them, I just didn't put them on. <laughs> ah, oh. oh my gosh, at this point I'm ready to give up and do it over again. I'm gonna do it again anyway. I would like to get Danger Nova all the way leveled up. What is it, 15? Shoot. Heck yeah. Oh man, there's Sabine. She's gonna make fun of me. Oh my god, I did so bad. Great track, right? I'm quite proud of it, actually. I mean, not that it's mine or anything, but you know, being able to use it and all. I've been to some of the other tracks in the area and they just don't compete with this one. I don't want to sound like a snob or anything. I'm just thankful or something. <laughs> Sometimes I just can't shut up, can I? It's great seeing you anyway. See you around, Cadence. Thanks. Reputation increased. I'm now liked with Silverglade Vineyard. Hooray. What's up, Sabine? Well, that was great. Hey, I thought about the talk we had before. We didn't get a very good start, did we? No. 
I guess I was feeling a little insecure or whatever. I'm new here, you know. Would it be too much to ask if you could do me a small favor? Yes. Why don't we start over and get to know each other, yeah? So what's your name? Cadence? Hi, Cadence. I'm Sabine. Oh, there's an Arabian horse right there. Panther dragons. Sounds intense. She wants to be friends. We have to be friends with her. We all have so much fun together. Gosh, I'm so glad we worked that out. She still looks miserable. You don't happen to know Justin Moreland by chance. You do? That's fantastic. Is she gonna hit on him too? Frighten me to stay away? So I've got this letter for Justin from a sort of unknown relative. He needs to get it, but as you know, I'm not at all familiar with the land outside the manor. I'm sure I couldn't find my way back here if I got lost. You're at home in Moreland, aren't you? What, ride there together? <laughs> I can't be seen over there. Um, I mean, I can't be seen there because of my status. I have to keep to the classier areas, you see. I don't want to deliver her letter. She's mean. Hey, Justin. Half a minute. Long time no see. Since jumping. Level six. Hello there. Oh my god, that's what I just said. <laughs> Letter from me? Seriously? From who? That snob over at the manor. Don't feel any pressure returning here until they can manage without you. According to what I've heard, they're pretty desperate for help since that girl Linda disappeared. Why is everybody disappearing on this island? I don't feel safe, you guys. <sighs> this, what in the, I don't know what to, you know what? I need to leave right away. No, everybody that leaves right away never comes back. I can't stay. You need to tell my father that I'm going on a trip. Will you do that for me? It's, it's my grandfather. This seems to be really important. Tell Thomas right away. Oh man, don't, don't go, Justin. Don't go. It's not going to be good. I know it's not. I know it. Hey, bro. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? His grandfather? This can't be true. Please don't let this happen. Justin absolutely cannot see his... My... This is bad. This is really bad. I want to take a picture with Thomas Moreland. Okay. Hey, me and Thomas Moreland, we're friends. What do you say? Hmm. We need to stop Justin from leaving. There's no time to lose. Oh, I was taking pictures. We should have been hurrying off. Wait. Let's go. Let's go. He looks so big for that horse, doesn't he? Sir, you need a larger horse. A Clydesdale, maybe? Oh, God, he's gone. Oh. That horse is dancing without a rider. Whoa! Hello. Goodbye. Hello, goodbye. Now it's in a wall. Now it's moonwalking. Oh my god. Mm. He's gone. My son is gone. I'll never forgive myself for letting this happen. <laughs> Sabine is the one who gave you the letter, you say? I don't like that at all. Why, of course I know who she is. I know what I think and always thought of her. She's a sneaky, insidious snake of a girl. And that's what she is. Been harassing my family for far too long now. You were saying? Well, that's an interesting point. You're actually saying that you think Sabine was the cloaked rider who stole my ownership documents? I haven't thought of that myself. Always figured it was someone from the GED. That makes sense, however. That girl sure has some sort of hidden agenda involving my family. Listen, you should ride over to the manor and try to figure out more about this. We'll need anything we can get on this girl. Will do, sir. I don't like her either. I know. 
Sabine? No, she left a while ago with her horse, equipment and everything. Seemed like she was going to be back. Funny, since she had just paid for a full month of stable rent. I know. You want to know more about Sabine? Frankly, I don't know much about the girls running around in these stables. That's probably not good. I know their names, but that's about how far my memory, or should I say interest, goes. Hold on. Justin, you say? I'm sorry, what? He went to see my... His... Is this a joke, dear? Because if it is, it's not funny. What is going on here? I know. Well, excuse me. I, I think I need a hot bath immediately. Godfrey! I don't know if she sung I it. I sung it a little bit. Kins, wait. There's a new girl here somewhere. She has also been asking me about this Sabine. Get in touch with her. You two will be best friends in a whiff. I'm sure of it. Silver Glade Equestrian Center. So, turn around. Fjord! Oh, Alex. Hello. You look cooler. Cooler than Sabine. Hello. Nice to meet you, Cadence. I'm Alex. Yes, I am so glad you're saying that. I've been trying to stop Sabine from doing harm to the people of Jorvik for some time now, and it's hard. Actually, right now I'm trying to find a girl that used to work here but suddenly disappeared. Linda is her name. I wouldn't be surprised if Sabine had something to do with it. Me either. I wonder if she took the mayor too. And Harold. You delivered a letter from Sabine to Justin? Uh-oh. That's not good. And now they're both gone? Wait. Have you ever seen Sabine's horse, Khan? He looks really different from other horses. He almost has a faint glow around him. His hoof prints look special too, like he touched the ground with his hooves burning. If we can find such hoof prints around here, maybe we'll be able to track Sabine. Start look around the start looking around the stable. Find Khan's glowing hoof prints. Oh man, look at all that orange. Oh, oh. Holy cow. Day on fire! Like, wasn't it the horse in Sleepy Hollow that had glowing hoof prints, too? Good work, Cadence, regarding of the direction of the tracks. You think it seems as if Sabine had gone towards Moreland? You may be right. Probably to meet Justin somewhere, don't you think? I do think. Let's follow the hoof prints together. They should be easier to see now when we both know what they look like. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, it's a race. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. I feel like I pushed that girl off the cliff. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, young lady. Where are we going? Oh, they're on the boat. So I'm waving. He's still waving. They're leaving the island. Oh no! This can't be happening. This is a catastrophe. What? No, it's just those containers. Sabine is talking to Justin to- is taking Justin to- You know, I'm sorry, but I really can't say more right now. Why do people- Oh no! Goodbye, boat! Goodbye, Justin! Goodbye! <laughs> You should go tell Thomas about this. He's just in father and needs to know. I'll see you again at the manor, okay? <laughs> Bye, Justin. Hmm. Hmm. You saw Justin? Well, did you stop him? They left on a container? Well, that's not a nice way to travel. Oh, God, please tell me this isn't happening. My son has been taken away. My son has been seized by the dark side. 
Thank you for the information, Cadence. From now on, you should put all your energy on helping Alex in her search. We need to somehow get Justin back to Moreland. You're meeting her at the manor now? Marvelous. Um, you told him? How did he take it? Poor Thomas. So I spoke to the Baroness while you were in Moreland and got hold of a piece of highly interesting information. The Baroness told me that Justin is her grandson, which means that Thomas Moreland is her son. Who Thomas's father is? Good question. That I couldn't get out of her. She went on about how that didn't matter because he's long since dead. You're right, Cadence. That doesn't make any sense. Justin claimed that he was going away to see his grandfather. As long as he isn't going to a grave, somebody is lying here. Listen, there should be records of the Baroness's past husbands at the town hall. It's full of old registration books, right? Why don't you ride over there and check for names? Mm -hmm. 